with the 60th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. The New Orleans Saints select Pete Werner, linebacker, Ohio State. Pete Warner's a guy, I, th I think he gets overlooked a lot of times. Second year player out of Ohio State, the kid can run. He's no frills, no neck brace, no pads, no nothing. He just makes tackles. Smart kid, always in the right spot, really good instincts. He's playing really well. well there's no doubt when you turn on the tape, he, he's, he shows up in everything. He stands he's all, out. Exactly. He's, he's on the field, he stands out, he's, he's got two forced fumbles on the season. By Pete Werner, the rookie out of Ohio State, who missed last week's game with the hamstring injury. He's back in the lineup today, their second round pick. Three tight ends on the field. On second and goal, they get the ball into the hands of Evan Engram, and he loses yardage. Little trickery here, some misdirection. It is Curtis Samuel right on cue. Weaves his way through a crowd, gets to the 50. Tungabaloa comes out throwing, and it's Mike Kosicki. Pete Werner makes the first tackle of the night, won't be the last. First play of the day is shut down. Leonard Fournette gets blown up. Fourth and inches. Davis will not get there. Pete Warner. Nice play. Not activated off IR yet. Oh, a big shot. Tug of Iloa put Gaskin in a tough spot. Pete Werner sort of that. Fourth down. Hand off to Elliott. It's two. Third down coming up. Here's Gibson again, trying to get some of it back. Well done by that Saints front. On second and ten, can they take advantage? Instead, it's Cameron Brake, the tight end. He got tackled immediately by the rookie Pete Warner, third down. They start with a run, at least a handoff, and a loss of two by Ezekiel Elliott. As Pete Warner, the rookie, second-round pick from Ohio State, made that play. Here's Duke Johnson. I think one of the things you want to see as a coaching staff as, and as a front office is for the young players who are getting their opportunity to step up and play and shine despite the fact that the team isn't having a lot of success. Pete Werner has done that tonight. He has done that. Look, I had my questions with him coming out of Ohio State, just exactly how his game would transfer at this level. Look, there are no questions. He can play. And now you know he can play two positions. He can play the mic. He can play the will. Lindsay picking and choosing Pete Werner second and seven don't put it in Gino's hands put it in Collins hands Pete Werner the tackle made 13 tackles last game out the rookie out of Ohio State gonna bring up a third down and short Tenth play of the drive, and they'll toss it out to Hubbard, but he's not going anywhere. David Onyemata there, also Demario Davis. Warner did a great job of turning everything back in. Watch Pete Warner on the top, right up here, number 20. You're going to watch him. He's going to get to the outside. Now he takes the outside away and forces it to go back inside, and Demario Davis is there to make the play. Oh. 
From the 18, on the toss. It is Lindsay. Out to the 30. It is 46, starting from the 20. Oh, brought down quickly. Well covered. to Pollard from the 25 Tonga Baloa back to Duke Johnson on second down off the fake to Barkley Jones will take it out just shy of the 20 yard line Gibson inside the four First down, we'll get it on second down, the fullback leading the way. Second down and six, and here comes Jacobs. Stood up, whacked in the play, Warner. His dad played in the NFL, leading tackler for the team, and he is the fifth leading tackler in the NFL. Pete Warner out of Ohio State, comes up with a nice play, uh, gain it two is all it is. Benjamin is the back. Not for long. Pete Werner right there. Werner in his second year out of Ohio State. Kind of an unsung guy having that great year. Yeah, second year. It's, it's like he's taken that big step. The light's gone off. Replacing Quan Alexander in his defense. And watch how he not only is able to shoot a gap. Watch him bounce off of a, of a tight end block there. And still be able to get into that backfield. You know, he is a big athletic guy. Did a lot at Ohio State in college. They asked him to play out on the slot play in the box so he's got great versatility just kind of coming into his own now there's his first NFL completion it goes to Michael Pruitt who takes a hard hit from the returning Pete Werner the second leading tackler for the Saints has missed the last four games with an ankle injury he is back in for New Orleans defense and then Warner right there I mean you want to talk about squaring a dude up that is putting your helmet right in the bread basket and taking down the tight end Mariota on first down, it's complete. Frank London, and a flag is thrown. Yeah, it's probably going to be a targeting on a defenseless receiver. Oof. Yeah, you, you can hear that one, and then he throws him down afterwards. Here's McCaffrey, picks up maybe three. Pete Warner there, make sure he doesn't go any further. Keontae Ingram is now in the game of running back. He flares out, he takes the toss, and he gets tackled at about the line of scrimmage by Pete Warner, and that takes us to the second quarter. Blake Gillikin to punt it. And Britton Covey to return it. He'll have a chance on this one. Oh, he got crunched by Pete Werner. Werner down there with Andrew Dowell. Thunderous hits. And with 10.01 to go, the Eagles take over. There's a pitch out to Jacobs, looking for an Illuminor block, and he's past the 20, and then gang tackled out there. Warner got a hand on him, as did Passigno. Blackshear has nowhere to go. Pete Warner right there in the hole. That, that was a counter OT. Pete Warner, very underrated. Makes excellent reads. He's really good in space. That's an outstanding football player from Ohio State. He's been in and out of the lineup with injury a little bit in his second season. 
Always around the football. Every time you look up, he's around the football. Geno Smith looking for 15 yards here. Steps up. Pressure. coming, finds D.J. Moore, Moore's first catch of the game, but Pete Werner there to get to him by the way. That's going to bring on the kicker. Finally corralling the ball and picks it, and no place to go once he does get it settled, and he is maybe lost a yard when all is said and done, back to the 39-yard line, Pete Werner with another tackle. From the 45, a first and 10 for Carr, Johnson a block, handoff goes to Jacobs, and this is what they do well. Warner read it well. It's a gain of four out to the 49. Good job by Warner not allowing that to be an even bigger play. Baker with the easy completion to Ian Thomas. That goes for four. Thomas dragged down by Pete Warner. Cook. A little burst to the edge, and Warner closed that one down quickly. Pete Warner with just a two-yard gain for Dalvin Cook, thanks to one of the best tacklers in the game, the second-year man out of Ohio State, Pete Warner. Carr in the end zone, and then dumping it off and caught by Jacobs, who's hit by Warner on the play. Also hit by Caden Ellis, out to the 18. Looking down at four, and Mariota will be taken down. What a play made by Pete Warner. Cook up the middle, nothing there. Warner sniffed that one out. Pete Werner there to stop Christian McCaffrey has been so productive from that linebacker position. And consistent, year. and that's what you're looking for. You see him right here. Crumbling pocket. Look out, Jordan. Got it away in time. Morrow saves the sack and got back to the 25, but lost a couple. Three, in fact, on the play. Redwell and heavy duress. Goal at the eight, it's Dalvin Cook. Werner, first contact, dropped him after a one yard gain, second down and goal. Rashad Penny, they thank the gift to him. Geno Smith dumps it underneath. Coming across, Will Disley. And now Tyler Algier trying to get going in the run game. Pete Warner makes the stop.
it's complete out to the 49 yard line it's Hodge Werner made the tackle pressure coming over the middle knocked away in the air Fournette the intended receiver Werner again makes the play and it's third and long Something to keep an eye on today on almost all of these pass attempts, the contested throws. The Saints are going to get up. They are going to challenge the receivers. They're not going to give soft zones. They're not going to play real deep. They are going to contest. Play fake. Catch not made. He's busted up by Pete Warner. Ertz could not hold it in second down and 10. I, I thought, there he goes again. They're going to go right back to him. Different route, kind of a crosser. He's going to work across the field here. But boy, Pete Warner, we talked about him earlier, how he can do so many different things. How about how he locates Ertz, anticipates that he's coming into his area, and then the ball's completed, and then it's not because he doesn't give up on the play. Has that left hand in there to be able to separate it. Mariota and the Falcons start from the 25 off the fake to Patterson. Mariota fires and it's complete for a fumble. Oh. Down. Zacchaeus lost the football and it's recovered by Bradley Roby of the Saints. He definitely has possession. He definitely is running. He has control. And Werner makes a spectacular play, punching right at the football. Instead of the peanut punch, it's the peat punch. The peat punch. <laughs> and this time Metcalf adjusts, but he dropped it. Now was he ever in full possession of it? If he was, New Orleans has the football. And did he make a football move? New Orleans and Alabama recover the ball. There's the catch. He's down. He's not. And the ball's out. That's a fumble. Five of seven so far through the air. Got the block from Miller, and it's deflected and intercepted and grabbed by Tyron Matthew, his second pick of the season. He was the reason they got the interception. He's the one that got his hands on it and tipped it up in the air so Tyron Matthew could get the ball. First and goal at the six. We'll take it to Detroit for that Miami Lions game. Coming down to the wire, outside it goes, Abdullah, and the tackle by Werner, right him well, gain it two with two, one, and that is all she wrote, they pitch a shutout against the number three scoring team in pro football, Derek Carr and the Raiders.